Welcome back to Digital Learning. I'm Connie Colosi, Director of Media Tech and Digital Learning. And in this se session, I'm speaking with Sarah Trulson, who is the Project Coordinator for Digital Learning. And we are talking about um, our professional development that occurred this summer, and specifically a day where we organized an EdCamp. And EdCamp is an unconference where the participants decide what it is they're going to learn and hear about for the day. And uh, prior to the break, we heard about the structure, but now we're going to talk to some of the teachers that actually attended that day. Let's listen. The first breakout session I attended was for Nearpod, which I'm very excited to use in my classroom next year. Uh, actually, I had uh, Stacy come to our, our school, and she did a lesson with my students. So. I'm excited to integrate that in math and science and kind of dip into it a little bit with reading. And the second breakout session was for the new lesson planning template. So I got some new tips and tricks to use for next year as well. So. My experience here at AIA Camp so far has been awesome. Um, being able to pick brains of different colleagues across the district and how they're using some of the same things that I'm using, but using it in a different manner, such as um, Nearpod, which is our first discussion. Uh, I use Nearpod for my independent group so that um, I can assess where my students are with certain standards which leads me or guides me to what I need to do inside a small group as far as do I need to go deeper into the standard, um, what particular students I need to work with, or if we can just move on. Oh, I came to learn some new engaging technology strategies to use in my classroom with my kids. We had some people come out and work with our classes on Nearpod and teach them how to use Sway, so learning some new sites to use with my class. Um, I definitely think I got that out of it today because it's very teacher-led and very collaborative, so it's nice to learn things from people who already use it, um, as opposed to just kind of being taught how to use it, but hearing some feedback from people who already have experience with it was really awesome. It's a different kind of training as opposed to the lecture kind of training. It's very interactive and very, very helpful. So far it's been awesome. I came here to learn more about technology. I was able to share with some of my colleagues some of the stuff that I implemented last school year with OneNote. I was very excited to do that. Um, after presenting at the first session, during my second session, I went and learned about creating a escape room on OneNote. So I'm very excited to use that this year in my classroom. And I'm looking forward to my next two sessions. I have had such a wonderful time at EdCamp here. It's a very huge collaborative process. I'm getting to learn from people all over the district in every grade level and secondary and just seeing how technology really is integrated into our classrooms in different ways. I've enjoyed hearing how all these teachers use different technologies in their classrooms and how I can kind of tweak it for myself. Um, I've done two trainings so far and I've been facilitating in a little bit in both of them. Uh, both of them have been with OneNote. I've gone to a full like digital classroom and so it's really hard and interesting to kind of think conceptually about having no paper in your classroom but my students really enjoy it. So I'm glad I've gotten to share that with a lot of teachers setting it up, how to play with it, and how to really get comfortable using technology that we've already had in our classrooms. 